name is Dr. Aaron Benjamin Goins. I'm both president of iMedDo and head chemist and doctor of iMedDo. But I'm here today speaking as head chemist of iMedDo and I want to let you know that I do a lot of quality control that goes into these products to make sure they're quality products. Uh, but also, and a very important part of quality control is the customer. When you first get your products, how to open the box, how to use them for the first time. And uh, I found out some, some customers were getting confused and they were buying the products and they were just sitting on their, on their table for a week or two before they actually would crack into them because they were confused as what to do. So the, type, the nature of this video is to explain what to do when you first get your iMedDo products in the mail. So first thing you're going to notice is it's going to come, if you're ordering four, four bottles or less, it's going to come in a 2x2x4 two by two by box. And <clears throat> it looks like this. It'll have my address, your address on there. You have to look at the box and find where the seam is in it. Then, once you take the tape off of it, then it will open up like this. Position it to where the box will open like that. Okay. When you first open the box, you'll, notice, you'll usually notice the brochure and possibly a business card on top. Uh, always look at the business card. Sometimes I leave you a message on there and just say hello or how are you doing or something. So there's usually two business cards in there. Maybe one, but usually two. Now, what I recommend doing here is putting your hands like this, putting the box like this, and just opening it like that, okay? So what we have here, we have your bottles are wrapped in the brochure. So what you do is you unwrap them like this. Then the first thing you want to do is you want to set the bottles face up like this. There you go. All right, and then you will notice what you have here is the brochure. In the brochure, you can read through this. Um, it really has more information about each product, and more, most importantly, it has more detailed instructions on how to use them. But I'm going to go through that. Uh, so the first thing, now that you've opened your box, you've got the products out, uh, the most important part of quality control as a customer is to first examine each bottle. Uh, and the first thing you're looking at here is you're making sure that the shrink wrap is intact. This is a temper evident seal. This just shows that nobody opened your bottle, your bottle didn't spill out, and it was not tampered with in the process. So you look at each one of your bottles and you see that the tamper seal is completely intact. Okay. Then what you do is you also look at the level in your bottles. The silver and the iodine will look kind of dark. The level should be approximately there. If the level is lower than that, then there could be a problem and you need to report that. Um, and with the gold, you, it's difficult to see the level, so you can't tell with that. But with these two, you can definitely see that the level is there. Okay, then the next thing you're gonna notice is that there's these rubber bands on the bottles. Um, these rubber bands are important in um, putting the labels on when they're drying, and they're also important in the shipping. They, they provide some protection so the bottles don't clank against each other in the mail. But once you get your bottles, they're no longer necessary, so you can just Take the rubber bands off and recycle the rubber bands for whatever purpose you want. You don't need the rubber bands on the bottle. Okay. Uh, now, I will say that some people like the rubber bands because they sort of color code the products. If people just want to look at the products quickly, uh, I usually do uh, a blue color as silver, uh, usually a pink or red color as the iodine, and usually a white or a gold color for the gold. Okay. But you don't need the, you don't need the rubber bands unless you um, want to use it for color coding. Usually you can just look at the labels and you can see that the new silver logo looks like that, the new iodine logo looks like that, and the new gold logo looks like that. Okay, so that's how you open your products. Now the next thing is, the most important thing is using the products for the first time. So what do you do? In order to use these products, first you need to get the shrink wrap off. Now, it's on there pretty tight. If you have fingernails, uh, usually you can go in from the bottom there and just pull it off without too much trouble. If you don't have fingernails, you might have to get a paper clip or something to get under there to break it and then pull it off. Uh, I recommend going from the bottom, not the top, because you don't want to damage the dropper. So carefully just take off the plastic shrink wrap off of all three of your products, and that's garbage, you don't need it. So you just go ahead and do that. You try to find where there's already sort of a perforation on there, perforation on there. Use your fingernail, just pull it off of there. Okay, like that, and one more. Okay, great. So now we have our bottles ready to go. 
Now we have another quality control step where we're actually going to examine the dropper caps and we're going to examine the product. Okay, and this is to make sure the product is there and it's the right color and everything. This is the new gold. Okay, you'll notice it looks, you can't really see the level, it looks kind of light from the outside, but when you open it, you squeeze the dropper cap a little bit, you can pull some out. You'll see that it's clear, but it's actually a light pink color. That is the correct color for the gold. Uh, people sometimes ask me, hey, it's gold, why is it? Why is the color pink? Uh, that's correct, it's actually nanoparticles of gold. They refract the light red, which looks pink at this concentration. So your new gold should look pink, so that one is correct. The dropper cap looks intact, it doesn't look loose or anything. The bottle looks fine, so it passes our quality control here. Next, we look at the iodine. The iodine should look a, um, usually sort of a golden or pea color, as people say. So that one looks fine. Dropper cap looks good. It's very important because the, the iodine um, out of all these products is able to, uh, it's harder to contain in the bottle, so you really need to watch the dropper cap and make sure that your dropper cap is intact. Um, and the silver, when you look at the silver, it should be like an amber color. It is, it is real silver. You think of silver being shiny, but um, this is nano silver. It refracts the light. This color, if your silver looks like that, it is correct. That is a true colloidal silver. Okay, so now our three products pass QC. We took the rubber bands off. We verified the shrink wraps were intact, but now we removed them. We opened up the products. We looked at them, and just they looked the right color and everything. Dropper caps look good. The levels look correct. So the next thing to do is to actually use the products. So the one I recommend starting with is the new iodine. Uh, I recommend you put it in your left hand like so, hold it, you unscrew the glass dropper cap like that, you give it a squeeze, pull it out, you'll verify that the glass part of the pipette is unbroken, you put one drop on your skin like that, replace the dropper cap, tighten it first, set it down, then rub it in like that. The iodine is an alcohol. The alcohol evaporates. The iodine absorbs in your skin within about two seconds. It's already absorbed in. Um, the key here is these little bottles are easy to spill if you set them down, but if you hold the bottle while you do it and then make sure to put the cap back on before you set it down, then you won't have problems with spilling. Then if you do spill, it won't go anywhere. Okay, so that is the iodine. What's special about that is it's going on your skin. Okay, now the new silver and the new gold you take them at the same time, but you use them differently. They go in water. They can go in water or under your tongue. I recommend just to start out, we're gonna do water. So I have my trusty water bottle here. Okay, I'm gonna open it up. Same thing with the silver. I'm gonna hold it in this hand. I'm gonna unscrew it in this hand. You give it a little squeeze, pull up some product. You'll see the silver looks an amber color, that the glass pipette is unbroken. Put one drop in your water bottle, like so. Screw it back down all the way, it's closed, and then set it down. And that way there's no danger of spilling it. Same thing with the gold. The gold is safe to mix with the silver in the same water. You hold it in this hand, give it a squeeze, put a drop in there. You'll see it's a pink color, glass pipette's not broken or anything. Close it, set it down. Then I just put my cap on my water bottle like that, give it a little shake, and then I just go out th throughout my day drinking this. You could drink it all at once in a small amount of water, or you can just put it in a large water bottle. It's not the amount of water that's important, it's the amount of dosage per day, where one drop of silver is the right amount for your maintenance dose, one drop of gold, and you start with one drop of iodine. So now you've used your very first dosage of iMedDew products.